Object Isolation. Sometimes when you're working with layers, you may want to look at something specifically. So if I zoom in this area here, if I pan over to the side, and maybe I want to work on just this only, and all this extra stuff here is kind of cluttering it. I could go ahead and try to figure out what layers I want to turn off, and that would leave me with only what I want to see. Well, another method of what you can do is let's go ahead and zoom in on this office here because maybe this is the one we want to work on. I'll go ahead and click here. I'll drag up to the top left to do a crossing selection. I'll select these items here. I'll zoom out just to make sure there's nothing else selected. Okay, that's exactly what I want to work on. Pan over to the side a bit. And down here in the bottom corner with this light bulb, it says isolate objects. If I click on that, I can go ahead and select isolate objects and everything else disappears. If I double click on the middle mouse wheel, there we go. This is exactly what I wanted to work on. I can ignore all the other clutter without having to turn everything off and on. I don't have to worry about messing up other items. I can just focus on exactly what I want to look at. Sometimes isolating objects can be very useful in creating geometry, especially if it's complex. Let's go ahead and bring them all back. I'll click here and I'll end object isolation. I'll zoom out a bit just to see everything came back. It all looks good. Let's look at one more thing. I'm going to zoom in here, zoom in a little bit more, pan a bit with the middle mouse button. I'll go ahead and do another crossing selection and I'll grab these items here. And this time, let's see what happens when we do hide objects. There you go. Everything else remained except those objects were hidden. So sometimes if you're in this little delicate area and there's only a few objects that you want to get rid of, but you want to keep everything else, you can use the hide objects. Let's go ahead and click here again. And let's end object isolation. And that brings back the objects again. Double click the middle mouse wheel. And we're back to where we started.